So the bit of kinesiology that I've always found absolute magic is that there are, in Chinese five element theory, there are 14 meridians. Go, teachers, go. Yes, let's stomach. So central first. Yeah. Spleen. Yeah. Heart. Yeah. Small intestine. Bladder, kidney, large intestine, lung. Sex, sex. Mm -hmm. You're off the You're just throwing me off the pad. Yeah, she totally did. She just totally touched me off the pad. Where did you get to? Small intestine. Bladder. Bladder. Liver. Kidney. Eat it too well. Test. Liver, then it's sex, sex, right? Yeah, sex, sex, triple warmer. You've got gallbladder, so. Gallbladder. Liver. She should have got one of us to like it. Lung. Large intestine. Oh, I put my gallbladder in the wrong place. Gallbladder after living. Yeah. I should have written stuff at lunch. Yeah. Gallbladder, triple warmer. Uh, where have I got to? Lung, large intestine. This is right. Laura, this is that you do as well. It's fine because you can't be on the right. Right, so we have in Chinese five element theory, we have acupuncture. We have 14 meridians. We actually have a couple of, we have uh, central and governing too. And you can see these actually linked to organs. And <laughs> we have to, they're, they're in an order. There's like a wheel, they go around in an order. We didn't actually need them in the order, but they're in the order now. And what happens is you can see that they, these link to organs. So circulation sex is actually ovaries, testes, any of those things. Triple warmer is our endocrine system, our adrenal glands, our thyroid, our thymus. And so what's really amazing is we have got muscles that are within these. So, for example, stomach muscles, like I said, we actually have some in the hands. So carpal tunnel syndrome, do we need all the surgery? No, it's food intolerance and not digesting properly and it's this problem with the stomach. So, stomach, we've got loads of muscles. We've got things like some of the neck muscles. We've got some of these wrist muscles. We've got some shoulder muscles. A really big one's this one. So again, when people have got you know, constant shoulder pain, we're thinking, mm, digestion, mm, mm, shoulder, frozen shoulders. Some shoulder muscles. Spleen's an interesting one. Spleen, pancreas, the Chinese in 5,000 years ago didn't know about the pancreas, so we tend to put the spleen and the pancreas together. So this is blood sugars, so blood cleaning, blood sugar. And so the latissimus dorsal is a huge muscle. It's to do with it's to do with the uh, to do with spleen and pancreas, and you know people who eat a lot of sugar actually their hands you often see it's that kind of classic you see the knuckle dragging, um, it's this this posture. It's because their latissimus dorsi is not working properly, so we're starting to get clues in the body. So we're thinking, oh, okay, so we've got these big ones on the side of the body. I'm not going to put the muscle names side of the body. And again, more in the wrist. We also have your wrist and arms. So people getting pains. We start to go, ah, oh, I know. Bingo wings. Yeah, bingo wings, Ski. triceps. Our heart muscle, uh, the heart subscapularis is linked to the heart. So again, we start to be able to see when people have got these issues and then you find out that they've got the the medical conditions as well, we start going, ah, oh, this starts to make a lot of sense. Small intestine, loads to do with the um, abs, loads to do with the quads, and of course, where are the most exercised places? Mm. Everyone wants to, you know, work off those Beyonce thighs and get, get rid of their guts. So we're starting to look at abs, quads, loads going on in the bladder, loads to do with the bladder, all in the ankles loads, but also the bigger rectus spinae, 
this muscle, sacrus venalis, that actually holds us up. So people with bad posture who are struggling, we're starting to think bladder. Wow, okay. Kidney. Ooh, a big kidney one is the psoas muscle, so you know, the, the, the kicking muscle. And again, if people are, are sort of like, if they're, if they're struggling, if they've got um, sort of pigeon toe, children ball with club feet, uh, you're thinking about sort of maybe psoas issues, or I've got a friend who has got kidney problems, and I, I knew it before he even said it, because he literally sort of walks a little bit like the Charlie Chaplin walk. And then the conversation I found out, he had this, Ah, leg muscles. And uh, Pilates instructors, physios, osteopaths love talking about the psoas muscle. They do a lot of work on the psoas, but what they're often not doing is having the conversation about why is the psoas muscle an imbalance? And so with the bees, we're going, what's going on biochemically? What's going on emotionally? What's going on electrically? What's going on structurally? Because that structural cor correction is only part of it. A psoas muscle will be very, very short and tight if people aren't hydrated. So you get a lot of people with this, that kind of ridge, that back pain, and that's because of this, this psoas muscle just not doing its job properly. And so when we drink water, and this equals out.